I take her to kindergarten <laughs> and I'm the one tearing up. And my little five-year-old looks at me and she says, Mom, I'm only going to be gone for a few hours. Don't cry. You know, she was consoling me instead of me consoling her. The first year was pretty difficult. Every morning saying goodbye, she needed to be walked to the door of the classroom. She needed the same routine. By the time we got into first grade, she was all hat. When we walked into the classroom, we sat her down. She felt very comfortable. Um, she said, bye, Mom. I'm ready. Take off. The day children cross the threshold into grade school, they enter what many believe to be the happiest years of childhood. Sandwiched between the rapid changes of their preschool years and the turbulence of adolescence, this is a calmer period devoted to academics, games, and friends. The very stuff childhood memories are made of. It is little wonder the school years are often called the golden years of childhood. You might want to use to use the string to tie around the block. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When children enter the first grade, they begin a period of relative calm after the rapid growth of their early years. During the school years from six to eleven, growth slows down and energies are focused on learning new skills and making new self-discoveries which children do by comparing their physical abilities to others. Through this process, children begin to define themselves, what they can do, and how they might fit into the world, laying the groundwork for the adolescent and adult they will become. This is the time when they start looking at each other and at the peers and the, child's, the children that can do things in a better way uh, have a better self-esteem and develop much better uh, than the children that are uh, not so apt in sports and cannot compete as well, or sports or just playing activities.